Welcome to lesson 210 of A Course in Miracles. And this lesson, once again, gives us the power, reminds us of the power that we have to choose. To choose what? To choose the way I feel, to choose what I think, whether I'm going to be thinking and, and, and you know, going around the circle in thoughts that are created by the ego mind or whether I'm going to just connect to God and receive the blessings of a clear mind, a more peaceful mind, and therefore more relaxed emotions and, and, and nervous system and, and a body. The lesson, once again, it says, I choose the joy of God instead of pain. I choose the joy of God instead of pain. It doesn't even say I can, no, 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 I choose the joy of God instead of pain. So that also means that I am choosing pain whenever I am feeling it. And I know that people go, oh my God, but no, no, this is terrible. I am a victim of what's happening. And we are not talking really at the moment about what happens to us because many of the things that happens to us, we are quite unaware you know what I mean? We got all these beliefs, all these thoughts that are projecting out, but many of the times we don't even know what thoughts we're holding. But yes, we can we we can now with lesson 210 and all the journey that, that you've done so far to realize when you're feeling not good, when you're feeling, when you're not feeling uh, when you're feeling bad, when you're feeling stuck, when you're feeling angry, sad in fear, you can hardly breathe, your nervous system is just going and going and going, you can realize, start, realize that now, yeah? Or you can also realize when the, the body is relaxed, when the mind is relaxed, when there's peace or when there's joy and love. So we, we can differentiate that at the moment. And I invite you to hold that power and go, yes, I can differentiate when I'm feeling fearful or angry or stressed or anxious or repetitive negative thoughts. I can identify that. And I can, I can also identify when I'm feeling relaxed, at peace, feeling love or, or joy. Yes. So because I can identify either, I mean both, then I can go back and choose. It's like if I'm giving you, you know, uh, an ice cream, chocolate or vanilla, you know. At, at the moment you're like, vanilla, chocolate, 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 I, can, I haven't got an option. Then you go, no, 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 okay. Oh, there's also vanilla. I can, I, I can choose vanilla. Yeah. Because I, I saw vanilla, I tasted it, I really liked it, yes. So now you need to step back and truly connect to yourself and see whether you choose chocolate or vanilla. Chocolate meaning, at the moment for this metaphor, stress, anxiety, you know, non-stop robotic mind. Or peace, you know, joy, love. For this, you need to identify when you're just eating chocolate nonstop. <laughs> and go, okay, I'm eating too much chocolate. I'm going to put chocolate aside and I'm going to choose. This is the time for us to identify when we are thinking and what we're thinking, whether we're judging someone, whether we're criticizing someone, whether we're judging something criticizing it, whether, whether we're judging, criticizing ourselves. And at the moment, lesson 210, it is easier than at the beginning to identify what my mind is doing. And for me to go, I'm going to stop it here. And this is like, I'm going to give you another example. It's like watching a movie and it's watching a movie. You're watching a movie and then you go, okay, I'm going to play, I'm going to press stop. And I'm going to stop this movie at the moment. Or I'm going to press pause. And it gives you a, a, a moment of like a breather. So then you can choose again. Yes.
And you might want to go, well, I'm not going to choose this movie again because it's a horror movie. I want to choose to watch, I don't know, a documentary, I don't know. This is, this is the choice that we have. This is the power that we have <clears throat> that until now, we haven't realized that we had. We had it. Until now, we thought we were victims of what we think, what we feel, what happens to us, which is like, I don't know, plopping along in, in the world, powerless. Well, now we're realizing that this is not true, that we are very powerful. One other thing that I want to mention as well is it's also the time for honesty. Not faking that I feel fantastic and I love everybody and I'm always laughing and smiling because I'm so cool. No, no, not, no. This is a moment of going within and going, what am I feeling really? Because otherwise we still, you know, I'm going to put this mask on, the happy person and the loving person, but inside that's not the way I feel. If you're feeling love and peace, keep it up. You're doing fantastic. But if you're not, also keep it up. Be honest with yourself. Give, a, give yourself a bit of time. You might want to go to, the, to your room or the toilet, a place that you're alone, and truly express what you're feeling without harming yourself or any anyone else. But you allow yourself to hear yourself really honestly, honestly, honestly saying how you feel or what you're thinking. So that will give you the possibility to put stop. Yes. And look, many times we're scared of hearing these truths, but they're not just universal truths. They're just layers of beliefs and layers of suffering that we're ready to release yeah so um be, be honest be very honest with yourself with what you're feeling share it to yourself and choose the joy and love of god again many blessings